Well, welcome to the University of Kentucky Meats Lab. You can see we dropped this pork carcass on the table here. And we often get asked this question of what it's like being a meat processor. Uh, some of our meat processors even uh, made the comment that, boy, it would be neat if we had a video to kind of describe what it is to be a meat processor. So we thought we'd do a short video on exactly that. Uh, to start off with, uh, meat processors, you can see how the three of us are dressed. We have on a white coat, which is called a frock, an apron, and something on our heads. We've got white gloves underneath our latex gloves as well, so you have to dress for the part. Now, depending on the facility you're working for, you may have to dress like one of our students here, Andrew, who's got on the hard hat, as well as a hair net and a beard net as well. And you've gotta be, be prepared to dress for success, so to speak, to what you're doing there. Obviously, we don't want hair in our food and so on and so forth. So when it comes to being a meat processor, this is Brock Billingsley, our meat lab manager. Brock, tell me, what was the first thing you were told when you got interested in this when you were an undergraduate here at UK? The first thing that they told me was, and I didn't know what I was getting into, uh, my prior experience was maybe a little bit of deer hunting, uh, was some days it's gonna be extremely cold, working in freezer. Some days it's gonna be extremely hot, you're gonna sweat. Uh, some days it's gonna be very dirty and messy. Uh, and that's kind of the whole, whole shebang. Yeah, and then for example, when Brock says you're gonna be cold, this room that we're sitting in right now filming is about 40 to 45 degrees. Sometimes you might be working in a cooler that's going to run around 35 degrees or a freezer that is running below zero. Now the opposite of this, he said, we were going to be sometimes working where it's going to be really hot. So one of the other rooms in our lab is the processing floor where we bring in animals and we, as we politely say, begin the conversion of muscle to meat. And so that room, that kill floor, that abattoir, that harvest floor, whatever you want to call it, it can be hot and sweaty. We're lucky here at UK, ours is air conditioned because it's inside our building, but some of our, our local meat processors, whatever temperature it is outside, it's gonna be about 20 degrees warmer there. Uh, so you're gonna be hot and sweaty. The other aspect of it, as Brock said, especially when you're working on the kill floor, it's gonna be dirty. Animals come in dirty, you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna get all kinds of gooey, icky stuff on you that you may not be used to seeing uh, or having on you as well. The good, good thing is you, you, you do wash up. Now, the flip side of that is at the end of the day, and this is gonna be another video we're gonna do, is clean up. And so not only have you spent the day either being hot and sweaty or being cold, you're going to spend the afternoon being soaking wet as well. So being a meat processor isn't always the most glamorous thing. Plus the other thing about being a meat processor is what Brock's going to show us here is you get a chance to cut and you get a chance to feed people. And so you see Brock working here, working with sharp objects, all right? Uh, Brock's got a handsaw here. He's cutting up this carcass into uh, our various cuts. And the thing that you gotta realize, he's grabbed a knife. Knives are sharp. If you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you can potentially cut yourself as well. And as we move these objects around, you've seen us uh, a few seconds ago taking the carcass off of the rail and putting it onto the uh, butcher block. You're gonna do a lot of heavy lifting. And so not only are you doing heavy lifting, sometimes you're doing heavy lifting on a wet floor. So you gotta be very, very careful, learn to lift with your legs, learn to lift with your arms, not your back or anything like that. But those are kind of the negative things about being a meat processor. I don't know if negative is the correct, correct word to use there. But the other thing about being a meat processor is what you see Brock doing, learning a skill, a skill that's going to feed nine billion people. As our population continues to grow, you're going to learn that. You're also going to learn the artistic side of this as well. And so you see Brock pulling the loin away from the uh, belly. He's going to turn that loin into things like pork chops, loin chops, boneless loin chops. He's going to take this belly here. He's going to remove the ribs and turn it into spare ribs. Belly's going to get turned into bacon and so on, all to feed our people. 
All right, and so that's the really the neat aspect of being a meat processor is your ability to work with people and to feed people and to learn a skill that you can utilize the rest of your life as well. And the other aspect we want to talk about with being a meat processor is what I think is kind of neat is exactly what we're doing here. Most of our meat processors, myself who's been doing this for 36 years, Brock who's been doing it for 12 years, or Andrew who's been doing it for about two years, you usually start at the bottom and work your way up. So you'll start out as a cleanup guy and eventually work your way up to being a meat cutter. And as, as you've worked yourself up to being a meat cutter, guess what? There's a guy coming in behind you who wants to learn these skills as well. And so that's what Brock and I do. I taught Brock how to cut meat. Brock is teaching Andrew how to cut meat. Is the ability to be a teacher, finding your voice with being a teacher as well. But the really neat thing is and obviously this would be for another video, is this pork carcass, not only are we going to turn this into other usable products, but making hams, making pulled pork, making bacon, and so on. And if we had a beef carcass out here, we talk about all that as well. All these things are what goes into being a meat processor, whether you're a cleanup person, whether you're the guy that grinds hamburger or the girl that grinds hamburger, you're working on the kill floor or you're in here. All of them have their positives, all of them have their negatives, but just be aware that you are learning a skill, you're learning a valuable lesson that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life. And so being a meat processor, we think it's pretty neat, that's why we've been doing it for so long, but understand when you get into this position that what's, what's gonna be expected of you. And feel free, we have our contact information and comment section down below, feel free to, to ask us any question either via email or through the comment section. Thank you so much.